all right y'all what's up y'all welcome back to the channel uh here it is um i'm holding a piece i'll explain this in a minute but uh this is part two to working on the um i don't even know what to call it not this truck right here the truck in front of it. it's a 93 f-150 so to me had to have been people with maybe substance abuse problems and we're not going to go into that but uh there's in my previous video y'all know what i'm talking about but we're gonna go ahead and take care of a couple things on this truck let's start it right here all right if y'all seen my last video y'all already know what that's about um so basically the shifter right here the cable that goes all the way down to the neutral safety switch uh, i guess busted on them so instead of replacing that part i mean you can get it at the yard for like 15 to 18 bucks after taxes and um instead of replacing it they did this what is this you say is that so instead of replacing that cable, so you can see, you can see part of the cable right here that is connected. This is, uh, I took off the wire to this right here. This is the uh, neutral safety switch. And because I had to cut this in uniform to be able to actually cut out another piece of metal, put it here and start welding it closed. And um, what well, that would reach their hand in here and actually put the truck in gear reverse neutral drive <laughs> park all of that from here from inside the truck they did all that crap just to do that so it's costing me some extra time not really money because i have the parts laying around well the metal anyway and that's what i'm working on right now all right so i got this piece that uh they tore up and uh this piece that I cut out, um, I straightened it out, flattened it out somewhat, and uh, basically, so I don't have to put this whole piece of cardboard inside the truck. I'm just going to cut out this section. I know it's a little bit too big, but I'll fine tune it here in a minute after I finish bending the cardboard and, you know, making sure everything lines up right. All right, so I traced that piece of paper, or what, a piece of cardboard right here on the, on the hood. This is the old hood of the Bronco. Um, it was an accident um, and I repaired it but this is the I kept this old hood just to do this to be able to get pieces of metal off the truck off the hood I mean and use it for other projects now that we have this figured out um, I went ahead and cleaned up the edges we're gonna go ahead and start tacking this piece of metal in place uh, somehow the footage from me welding uh, got misplaced it really didn't, but man, my freaking tack wheels, because of such a tight space, you know, I'm a bigger shouldered, wide shouldered guy. Man, I be, I had to become a contortionist here for a, a quick second, but uh, um, yeah, it, it, it showed in the, the tack wheels that I put in there, and uh, that's banned from my channel. But it's good enough to hold, so I'm not worried about it. I uh, went ahead and put the carpet back on and uh, got a screw, the, I guess the door seal paneling, whatever it is, I got to screw that back on. And uh, I'm gonna show you what else I had to do to get this truck up and running. All right, so if y'all seen the last video, I was having problems with the transmission. Uh, the transmission one night, when I change out of first gear, um, I actually put a different transmission in there and I was having the same exact problems. Uh, it was actually two different things. It was the transmission solenoid pack. And uh, somebody has a pretty good, um, a pretty good video out there of changing the solenoid pack. And I'm pretty sure somebody has a video about this thing too. This is the neutral safety switch is also referred to uh, some other crap, but this part was bad and uh actually took it off the 93 bronco this is 
Broncos actually, I gave it to my sons. They supposed to be working on it today and for some reason they're not. I don't know. Anyway, so just for testing purposes, I took the part off and put it on the 93 F-150. Transmission works flawless. Took it for a test drive, uh, uh, maybe, maybe a 20 mile test drive and a truck shifts, runs real good, real smooth. And, uh, well, I guess the next video I'm going to be working on the AC, but I'll tell you the exact, um, tools that you need to take this off. And I'll tell you where this is at here in a minute. All right, y'all. So here we are. We're looking at the side of the transmission. Um, this is the front of the transmission. That's the back of the transmission. Um, well, actually the pan itself, but so... Oh. So you see where your cable, your cable's connected to this lever. This lever is actually taken off with the 15 millimeter socket. And let me put this part back on. The neutral safety switch actually goes on right here. And it's held down by 5 sixteenths um, to screws. right here so one right here one on that side this is goes on right there it's slotted it's not all the way on because there's some gunk behind it but see how it's slotted this goes on like a certain way and, uh, anyway i'm not going to put that part back on you're also going to need to pull tabs. This one was pretty brittle. It broke on the side. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. All right, one thing I forgot to mention about the neutral safety switch. I know this one's black, but the one that I had was tan color. And um, this one's actually to a late 94 on up. The other one is to a nine, uh, early 94, mid 94 on down. They did switch up a couple of electronical things on these E4ODs, including the transmission solenoid pack. And this was one of them also that they changed out. Um, so whenever you put these on, there's some lines. You see those lines right there? So there's a line on the circle and there's a line right here on top. Those are supposed to be aligned up. That's basically stating that this thing is put in neutral. So whenever you swap these out, uh, if your transmission is acting funny, um, um, this is one of the cheaper ways to go to try to figure things out. Um, I actually got these from the yard itself. These are these are good. I've tested them already. And um, the bad ones, I just go ahead and throw them away. So you'd have to put your emergency brake Put your vehicle in neutral and then go ahead and make up the swaps and uh, make sure those those lines are lined up with one another and then go ahead and just use the sockets that I mentioned earlier swap it out hopefully that helps the transmission shift a whole lot better and yeah that's basically it so the next thing I'm going to be working on with this uh, 93 F-150 is going to be the AC and the heater. I'm not, I haven't tried to use the heater lately, but I know for a fact that the AC is not working. So we'll be uh, taking care of that somewhere in the next couple of days. Um, this week, I work a weird shift, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, figure that one out this coming week. But I have off tomorrow. Might be able to mess with it a little bit. I'm not sure. But that's about it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.